700,046 when you actually do the calculation, but something about lots of universes. The number of possibilities, maybe we can either rule them all out and get rid of string theory, or maybe one of them describes our world, and wow, that would be amazing. Mm -hmm. The problem is, as you made reference to, as people began to study the math further and further, five possible shapes grew to six, grew to 10, grew to a million, grew to a billion, grew to a trillion, grew to 10 to the 500. Hmm. That little list of five possible shapes is now an enormous list of possibilities. And so what do you do with that? Well, one idea that people put forward is maybe all of them are real mm -hmm. in the sense that all of them are realized in the sense that there are many universes in which each of those shapes constitutes the extra dimensions in that universe. Yeah. And this is an idea that really was spearheaded by Leonard Susskind, who was thinking about these ideas in the context of inflationary cosmology and in the context of a puzzle called the cosmological constant problem. And when he put all these ideas together, it naturally suggested that maybe there are multiple big bangs yielding multiple universes each with a different shape for the extra dimensions. That's where this multiverse comes from. And that's because of the, the possibility of different ways that these dimensions could be, could be shaped and organized. To me, I mean, that, that is, of course, really interesting. But a lot of people will listen to that and think, what if there's just some other reason why the dimensions are as they are in our actual universe? I mean, the fact that a bunch of other realities are mathematically possible doesn't mean that they actually exist. Yes. Is positing that they just do exist just sort of a convenient way to get around the problem of explaining why the universe is the way it is? Yes, that is certainly a possible way that this story might ultimately be told. Mm -hmm. And it could be that there is some mathematical equation that we've yet to find and when you look at that mathematical equation, you solve it, maybe it says, ah, that's the shape, shape 22,462. Maybe that will come out of some fundamental mathematical calculation, at which point we'll say all the other shapes were spurious. Mm -hmm. They were potential shapes when we didn't know about this other mathematical condition, but with this new condition, they're gone. And there's just as one shape. And that would be a very beautiful resolution to all of this. We've yet to find anything like that equation.